Hello everyone, welcome back. So I just wanted to quickly introduce today's video because I did post uh, a grooming session that I've already done with Mocha. However, I've noticed that the uh, hay mites that she has has been progressively getting worse. Um, the, I don't think they're alive though. She gets her ivermectin every three months as preventative. So I think it's just a nuisance having them in her fur. They stick to the shaft of the fur close to the skin, but they don't burrow in the skin. So it is not to be confused with mange mites. It is in fact 100% hay mites. So I picked up or ordered a uh, like a flea lice comb removal kit and it came with like four or five different types of combs. So today we brushed her hair out. We did the undercoat with the de-shedding brush as well as using the combs to remove the static lice. So hopefully the video is a good um, angle because we did it as POV point of view. So I used my little, um, my headpiece where the phone was kind of sitting on my forehead. So hopefully that worked. If it didn't, comment down below, let me know. And when we do the next one in a couple of days time, then I will just set it up on the tripod so that you can see better. So let me know what angle you prefer for the video. But I wanted to go through this process with you so that you can understand what to do if your guinea pig ever gets this. Um, getting hay mites is, I mean, you can try to prevent it, but it's almost inevitable because they come in with the hay, whether it's store-bought or farm hay. They don't feed on the guinea pigs. Hay mites feed off of other insects as well as just like dead skin cells. So if you notice like any like flaky skin that if you got dry skin, any skin that would come off or anything, they would eat that dead skin, I guess. Um, I'm not 100% certain if that's accurate, but that's just what I've read online. But nonetheless, it's becoming a nuisance seeing those hay mites in her fur and it's been bugging me more than her. So let's get right on into the grooming sessions and let's see if we can make Mocha pretty as ever without the hay mites. All right, keep watching to find out how to do it. But they usually typically come in on hay and feed off of other insects. But on your guinea pig, if your guinea pig has hay mites, it's gonna, it's gonna just make them look like they're a dirty animal. <laughs> but it doesn't mean that they're dirty. Okay, so there we go. You can see.
So it is said that the best way to get rid of pain mites is to bathe your guinea pig more frequently. Now she's already alone her pig, so she does get bathed more frequently, but yeah, she still ends up with a pain mite. And she gets ivermectin every three months. So I don't know. Now, it's also possible that, um, it's possible that they're not even alive. It's just, you know, dead insect carcass. Just put them out of their shop. 
that I do have